cameras watch you all the time stalking this property. Dude, call the cops right now. What is up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. I know it's been a little while since I've been active on this vlog. I did put a little bit of a community post out there just kind of updating you on what's been going on. For a lot of you that follow my other channel, I've been trying some different things, doing some documentary style videos, and a lot of those videos take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and I, it's kind of the reason why I haven't been able to make videos here, just because I'm at home doing some editing, sometimes doing a lot of research. So yeah, no excuses, I'm gonna be back. So I just wanted to do a follow-up video here, but it's so good to see you, I have no idea. Got so much going on, got so much to update you on. I do gotta get in here and do a quick dental checkup though because I got some Invisaligns and I'm gonna do a video from start to finish how Invisalign, and I'm not being paid to say this. It's gonna be my own personal non-biased opinion on how these affected my smile. You know, because everybody wants a nice smile, you know? I want a nice smile. And uh, I mean, a lot of you are like, oh, your smile is fine, Omar. I mean, I everybody has their own little insecurities. I did have this like real crooked tooth. Let's get in here, go to the dentist, see what's going on. I'm on my last trays right now from what they gave me. They gave me 10 trays. They're gonna give me a couple more, so I don't have to come back here. We're gonna be doing a lot more traveling. You're gonna be coming along, gonna be vlogging a lot on some very soon travels. Yeah. Where's everybody at? There's my Invisalign's right over there. I need them to my nice office. What's that? It says focus. Must be an x-ray machine. Ow! What the? Wasn't expecting that. What's this thing do? myself a little. Whoa, how about this? Oh, oh gosh, just blinded myself. I did not know that there was light. Is that, is that? Yeah, it's light. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the I think your thing is malfunctioning over here. Here, did your foot hit it? Which, where is it? Nah, I just touched it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Do you ever get people that like play around the instruments and stuff? Stop. They get bored? Um, not too often, unless it's you. Okay, well. Alrighty then, we are back and we have a ton of these, you know, little Invisalign trays. I was a week behind when I went to upstate New York. I keep saying upstate New York. People get mad when you say that from that part. It's not really upstate. It's Western New York, but it is upstate, technically. But yeah, when I went, I grabbed my tray because you got to change these out every week. And yeah, they do make you talk a little funny. I ended up not grabbing my one for the following week and I ended up wearing a tray for two weeks instead of one. So I'm a whole week behind from what the dentist put me on, which it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. My teeth are still adjusting and they're, they're definitely moving, but I've been taking pictures, probably three pictures a week. I'm gonna have to do this for like almost, yeah, it's almost like a, I think it was like eight months. It's like an eight month overhaul on my smile, okay? And I've been taking pictures every week, a couple of them, and I'm gonna do a video when I'm completely done with the Invisalign trade, like my final Invisalign trade. I'm gonna do a video kind of doing a time lapse of my teeth like moving. A lot of you know I do have an Airbnb business and I had to kind of put it on pause. I've had a little bit of drama with uh, with some neighbors and uh, they're a little nitpicky. Uh, if, if I never knew this going in. I just thought, hey, like I love investing in real estate. It's it's great investing in real estate. But with when it comes to Airbnb and it kind of scares people. I mean, especially like in a 
in a nice neighborhood or whatever, people think that there's like complete strangers. You know, who are these people coming to my neighborhood and right next door? And, you know, what if it's something crazy? You know, you don't do background checks on these people. And I mean, it's it's a pretty big hassle. I mean, lucky for me, everybody that's rented out from my Airbnb properties and a lot of you watching right now have been to my clown cottage, which I have an update on that. We're going to go there in a little bit. I haven't had any problems with anybody. I mean, everybody, I think the, maybe like the one minor problem that I ever had at my camper, which was maybe there was like these three college girls that came to stay and they got trashed and one of them like, I mean, they didn't cause any problems for the neighbors. This is like my own personal problems, but like they like threw up on one of our pillows or something. And I mean, you know, no harm, no foul. I mean, it's, you know, things like that, as long as they were okay. That was like the only issue that we ever had if we had to complain about anything. But I've had problems with some neighbors that don't even live anywhere near my Airbnb properties, but they just live in the neighborhood. I had this one neighbor start a petition went around to all my neighbors and had any, I mean, he, I don't know what he was saying. Like, you know, Hey, we, uh, we see that you do short term rentals and you know, this is a, a tight niche community, blah, 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 blah. And they, I mean, I understand that. Don't, don't get me wrong. I understand people, but people that rent from us, Airbnb, like they're nice people. They're people that are on vacation. They're in other words, they're not like, they're not like people that start trouble. You know, they're just on vacation. But yeah, this neighbor, which wasn't a neighbor from the actual street that the air, I mean, it's like, why even bother? You know, if anything, why don't you go to the actual next door neighbors to my Airbnb properties and, and talk to them and see what they think because they're actually really cool with me. I know them, they have my phone number. If they there's any issues, they call me and there's never been any issues. But they started this whole petition against me and guess what? It didn't work. It was to change like the HOA because it is an HOA to not allow short term rentals and it didn't work out. I think I even have a video of the dude harassing me. How are you guys doing? For what? What's that? I have nothing to say to you. My lawyer will, though. I'm going to do everything within the scope of the law. Your business. You do. You do what you want. Everything. You do whatever you want. Well. I can do whatever I want. It's my property. You want to bet? Yeah. Yeah, I will bet. Well, just wait and see. Okay. My lawyer will be in touch with you. My lawyer will be in touch with you. Cool, I've done everything by the law. Sure you have. Right. You're obstructing a business. You don't even have a license. I do have a license. No, you don't. I do. Go check with the DBPR. I checked with the state. Check again. Check again. I'm licensed. Okay. And we can't throw you out of here. No, you can't. No, you can't. I don't care what you do. I'll fight right back. And you won't, you won't be happy. I promise you. And whoever wants to challenge along with you, they're going to receive letters from my lawyers too. What you do is respect us as a community. Why, how am I disrespecting you? We gave you all the information. How am I disrespecting you? None of those signatures on that petition had anything to do with any of the neighbors, the neighbors here. Did you say it? Where are you from? Brett wasn't here. Okay, well, let's talk to this neighbor She's right fine. next door. Let's talk. Oh, she there's did. Seventy-five signatures. She, you took there's, one page. there's only thirty signatures on the paper I received. Did you talk to her? There's did you talk to her? Yeah. She. Oh, you did. Yeah. Let her come out here right now so you can talk to her. Dude, it doesn't matter. You don't even live near this property. You have no business. And I First of all, how you my cameras, out. my cameras watch you all the time stalking this property. For what? How many people drive by here every night? You have no business driving through here. Dude, call the cops right now. I'm sitting on the road. They will instruct you. I can be anywhere in this park on the road. You I very well can be, but what, what's your business driving through here all the time? You were told directly, we don't want you running an Airbnb. I don't care what you have to say. This is my property. I do whatever the f I want with it. Yeah, I understand. But we're going to run you out. You could try all you want. 
and you'll get sued. It's gonna get real hard. You're real you're fast. you're gonna see. I got a fat fucking wallet, dude. <laughs> so do I. And I'd be willing to spend. So do I. And I will make sure that you don't give anybody in this park another hard time again. Another hard time about what? I hear that you're the troublemaker. We're around town. Yes, I'm sure when these guys are behind your back, they're talking shit about you too. Really? Oh yeah. Everybody we I've talked to don't like you. We under, we understand you're you you're making care. tons of enemies around here. We understand you don't care. I care about my business. You're I care about me. Business. I care about my family. Don't I do care about my neighbors, business. but I don't care about you. And I will do something what about exactly it. What am I trying to do here? You're trying to you're trying to mess with my business here. You're fucking with my money. No, we tried to explain to you. Am I doing anything illegal here? No. Move on. Well, as soon as I'm not doing anything illegal here, as soon as the bylaws you can changed, move on. You will be. And you know what? Those bylaws won't apply to me. You know why? Because I've already been doing it. Guess what, asshole? They will. You should go back to your pretty little prissy house, f your wife, and get the f out of here. You know what? I can do whatever I want. I'm not bothering anybody. None of my you tenants are. here ever bother you. They don't bother anybody in here. Do whatever you want. Do what. Do 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 whatever you want. You're, you'll hear from my lawyer soon. Dude caught me while I was doing some work at my camper, and he. This is after he did this whole petition thing. But yeah, man, it got a little ugly. I probably said some things that I didn't mean, you know, just because I was upset. You know, he's like harassing me pretty much for no reason at all. Like he had no business. I mean, where this guy lives, and I know where he lives. It's on the other side of this subdivision. I mean, he doesn't, if anything, he just rides his golf cart through this area of where my Airbnb is. But he even threatened to be across the street or on the property or, or something like that, harass my tenants. When he threatened that to me, I went and I seeked legal help. And we sent him some paperwork pretty much saying that if you want to go there, you want to start harassing my tenants, causing me to lose income and causing me to get bad reviews on my property, we're going to have no choice but to take legal action against you. But after we sent the letters out, everything was fine. I haven't been harassed anymore by this neighbor and, and the neighbor. I keep saying neighbor, but he's, I don't know. In my opinion, not a neighbor at all. Just somebody that lives nearby. Is this worth it? Is it worth it? I mean, to me it is, especially the Clown Cottage, because I get to sometimes meet some of you guys when you come visit. Not all the time. Not saying that you should rent the Clown Cottage to meet your boy Omar Gashi because I travel a lot and I stay busy a lot. However, you get to be in my space. Super cool. And I am gonna be bringing back the Clown Cottage for people to stay at, especially because I'm gonna be traveling so much this summer. I didn't want it to just sit. I want to have the air on. I want people to come and visit, especially in the summer. It's vacation time. Come and visit my Clown Cottage. We're going to go there in a little bit, and I'm going to show you some of the changes that I've made and I will be making for your state to be awesome. Sorry about all the ranting. It's been fun. A lot of drama. However, it's going to be a happy video. I want you to be happy too. All right? Let's go. We got some work to do. Let's do this. Oh, look away. Look away. Do not even look. <gasps> okay, I did not come here for this, but oh, it's okay to look at. I love Reese's, by the way, but not today. Your boy is on a diet. This is what I'm eating now on stuff like this. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, gotta get the non dairy. And uh, it's on sale? What? Don't look. Don't, oh, don't look at that Reese's ice cream. Get this stuff instead. Definitely do some almonds. Raw almonds, tastes pretty good. Now the only drawback about wearing Invisalign, you get used to it though, is when you drink anything other than water or eat anything, you have to take them out. And, oh, sometimes it hurts when you take them out, but, oh, it's so juicy. That's the only bad thing however i will say it has gotten me out of eating some unnecessary food sometimes that i would eat sometimes tiffany will even be like you know hey take a sip of my dunkin donuts drink and i'm like oh no i got my you know got my trays in or you know things like that i got these keto friendly barbecue chips and they only have two carbs cool I'll just give them a sh shot probably high in sodium um actually not really pretty cool 
you are probably dying of starvation because I have not fed you in a really long time. Wait a minute. Hopefully these aren't like made of pork or something. Because I am vegetarian. Oh no, it says uh, plant protein. Okay. It's made from peanuts and soy. Well, anyways, here you go, because I'm sure you're hungry. Wow, you almost took my finger off with that bite. Sometimes, like, in the beginning of the week, when I get my brand new trays in, your teeth, if you ever have braces, you know, your teeth are, like, adjusting. So, instead of going to the dentist to adjust your braces and make them tighter, Every time you put a brand new tray in, it's like, you know, your teeth are tight. It's So, I mean, it takes a couple days to adjust to the trays. On the very first day, which is today, well, I put them on last night. I usually try to put them on the night before just to get sleep through them and kind of adjust a little bit. But your teeth are a little sensitive, especially when you bite down on, on food. Hurts a little bit. Uh, this is not that hard. Okay. Wasting a lot of time. I gotta get to my camper. Got a couple issues. I'm gonna explain those in a second. So let's go. It looks to most people like a trailer park, but it's not. These are all homeowners. Like everybody in this neighborhood owns. I mean, some people will buy the, I don't know, mobile homes or manufactured homes and rent them out. With mobile home parks, there's usually like a lot rent. There's no lot rent. Not only do people own their houses here, they own the land too. So with my properties that I own here, I own the land. So, I mean, you're not gonna come around and tell me what to do with my land. Even though there is a HOA, as long as I'm obeying the rules, and uh, see, I, I know all my neighbors and everything, and you know, I keep my places looking clean, keep them looking sharp, but it's the whole Airbnb thing. Anyways, enough about that. I'm at my camp right now, I'm gonna show you around. I did have a couple issues arise. I've been working on some of them. Uh, one of the main issues right now, no air conditioning, and I'm really upset about that. So I'm gonna try to diagnose a couple things. I did do a little research. Hopefully I get it to turn on. If not, I may have to call somebody because I don't know air conditioning. I especially don't know air conditioning when it comes to RVs. So, okay, let's go. Neighbors right here, right next door to my camper. Awesome people. And they even told me, I do not have a problem with your Airbnb property. As long as I could come and sit on your swing, that's cool with me and that's what she said and i'm like of course you can come sit on my swing anytime you want check it out fam this is my retro camper it has like the cool white walls and the teal color love it i did do some cleaning on the outside yesterday put this special rv cleaner on um, my dude gotta do something here with this awning big shout out to tiffany's mom for coming here and doing some weeding for me i'm gonna fill this area in with some mulch here later oh oh wow Oh, yeah, it's hot in here, super hot. If you've never seen what my, my little retro camper looks like, I mean, it is beautiful. It is dirty right now. You could see how cool it looks. I mean, disregard some of the messiness. It's got the checkered floor and kind of reminds me of like a Tennessee cabin too, the way the walls are. I love this place, super cozy. But here in the Florida sun, you do need air conditioning. I did try to take some stuff apart. Kept getting this error code saying E1, and I did some research on it and said it could be something electrical. It could be so many things. So I'm I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I like fixing things on my own. This may be something that I don't get to fix on my own. Dang. No air conditioning. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees today. We're gonna need some air conditioning. I'm gonna have to open some windows up. I'm gonna be working outside mostly, but you know, might come in here for like some water or something. Sometimes when you bang on stuff, it works. Come on, wake up. All right, maybe if I touch this. <laughs> okay, so this whole air conditioning thing is brand new. This just happened yesterday and it was working. I don't understand. But anyways, my main issue that I was having here was being that the place sat for so long, there was water in the hot water tank and my stepdaughter, Ariana, she came and stayed here, turned the hot water on and it smelled like rotten eggs. This, I mean, this is a small space. It just goes from there to there 
So when it smelled like rotten eggs in here and like poopy, I thought right away it was probably something sewage related, but it wasn't. Come to find out, if you leave water in your hot water tank, it can get like calcified and it creates like this bacteria that it's like a calcium deposit and it smells terrible. So that was the easy thing, learning about that. The hard thing was trying to find somewhere where I could pour vinegar inside of my hot water tank. That was not easy. And I'm gonna show you what I had to do to fix it. This is a certain brand of hot water tank. It's called the Atwood. Take this apart here. Now with this, on most models, you pull this plug out and there's this rod. It's called an anode rod. And you change that out and you're golden. Now this, doesn't have an anode because it's made of aluminum and they usually do the anodes with different material metal materials but where am i going to put vinegar in my tank like I, there's nowhere to put it there's no like there's there's nowhere i looked everywhere trust me so the only place that i could find you know it lets air out of the line so then you could flush the water out well that is where i put my vinegar i put about four gallons no actually three gallons of vinegar three gallons of water it's a six gallon tank and I let that sit overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. You can see a lot of vinegarized water. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, yummy. Let's go ahead and loosen that. Now let's do this. Ah! Oh, you can see it right there. Look at that. All that is stinky. Oh, it smells like vinegar. <laughs> yeah. I think that's just about empty. I'm going to turn the water on. Then I'm going to see if it smells like rotten eggs. Fingers crossed. Vinegar should take care of it. I did like, you know, rinse inside there. They sell this little water hose attachment where you stick in and you kind of clean the inside of there. But the vinegar is sitting for a while. That's what's really going to do it. So one thing I learned about hot water tanks and RVs, if you're going to let them sit, drain the water out. That way you don't have any issues like I just had right now because if the water sits, it calcifies, creates a super stink. Got to put some Teflon tape on this guy before I put it back. What I showed you when I unscrewed it, it was just a product of me taking it out before because that's what I used to put the vinegar in. But now we're going to permanently put it on. And by the way, this was not freaking easy to remove from there. I had to take this off first, which was cutting my fingers like crazy, because there was nowhere to put the pipe wrench, and yeah. I love pipe wrenches. I mean, if you can't get something off, get a pipe wrench. Gets anything off. I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, if I'm going this way, I wanna put the Teflon this way. I don't ever want to take you out again. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. All righty. That's as much as I could do hand tight. You know what's funny? So I was getting some stuff out of my truck, got some mulch and stuff. And that guy, the neighbor that I had those problems with, uh, just went by. And I'm one of those people, like, I wave and say hi to everyone, even if it's somebody that I know does not like me. I waved. I said hello. They didn't say anything back. I pray for him. I hope whatever he's going through in his life to be bitter to other people for no apparent reason. Ugh. And he's a problem here in the community. They have this Facebook that is just for the community and he gets on there. I mean, he's like a policeman when it comes to, oh, well that person, this person and that person, you know, he shouldn't leave his boat out and this and that. And it's like, but then he's doing the same thing and just accusing people. I mean, it's just like, yeah, no one likes him. I'm not going to say I hate him. I don't hate him. I mean, do I dislike his actions? Yeah, I do. But there has to be some good in his heart somewhere. Man, I cut myself so much in here. Like, there's so much metal, like sharp metal. Ugh.
I really hope it doesn't smell like eggs anymore. Ah, I'm gonna be so upset. I think that might be good. Okay. Now you can see why I had a problem. Because this thing, I think it goes like this. Yeah. There was absolutely nowhere to put the pipe wrench. And this thing, so full of sharp edges. I mean, it's bad. I, like, I cut myself right here, so I bent it. I got pissed. Oh, I know this is kind of boring, but um, I'm on a mission to get rid of egg smell. I think we're all done. Got to turn the hot water on. Well, we got to turn the water on, and then we'll turn this baby on, which runs by propane. All right, bad boy. Come on. Just doing some light cleanup right now. Waiting for that hot water tank to sizzle a little bit. Wait, did I turn it on? Oh. Okay, now it's for sure on. I'm gonna clean up here. Got a lot of work to do. While you're waiting, I do have a special treat for you. It's a video that I started to film. Actually, it's an entire vlog, but it's somewhere cool. I want you to come there with me right now. All right, you'll see what I'm talking about. So enjoy. Decided to bring my best friend James and my other best friend Chris and my other best friend Tiffany and my other best friend Boston to one of the most beautiful places here in Central Florida. Brought you before to the Wikiwachi River and it is beautiful. That's not far from where I live right now. But just a short two hour drive north is this beautiful place that I'm gonna show you right now. We do have to walk a little bit. Hope you're ready for this. You ready for this, James? I'm ready, bro. So what I really love about this river in particular is that there is more in nature. So the Wikiwatch River is beautiful and all, but it happens to go behind people's houses. It's very busy. This place is more quaint, more naturey if you enjoy things like that. However, being that there is more nature, there's probably gonna be a little bit more bugs. Might see a gator or two. They did mention that there's some river otters too. I've never seen an otter out in these springs. Um, supposedly there's some in the Wikiwatch River too. I've never seen one out there as well. I've never, never seen one in Florida, period. So if we get to see one today, be very, very fortunate. Now, another thing that has been spotted out here to the point where they even have signs warning people and I've never seen anything like this especially right here in my backyard in Florida Bigfoot there have been so many sightings of Bigfoot in these woods that they have signs warning people that there's been so many sightings that they're putting these signs to warn people just in case they get attacked or something okay, we have to catch up hurry come on the sign up here what sign? Where's the sign, Boston? Is he really blind? Yeah. So he used alligator sign. sign. Yeah. Where's the alligator sign? Where's it at, Boston? It's right here. Oh. Chris is in front of it. Whoa. Yeah. Now the gentleman did say that no one that survived has ever complained. Is that what he said? <laughs> <laughs> there is a sign for alligators, guys. Absolutely. All right, fam. There it is, right there. That's the river. Yep, we gotta get it. Oh, I'm just kidding. That's, not, that's not it. That's he said not it. This river was crystal clean. It, it is. Just, just wait till we get over there. So we met up with a really super cool tourist that's down here from Pennsylvania. Hey guys, Her name. It's your tuck me. It's your tuck me. Yeah, it's your tuck me. Uh, <laughs> She's on a road trip all by herself. I kind of invite her to hang out with us, being that she's gonna be alone for most of the most of her trip you know isn't this cool I... <laughs> look at look at this you to record some stuff for me oh absolutely nice on, buddy. it's oh, all nature so too <gasps> isn't it nice it's like Wiki Wiki, but bigger it is yeah and a stronger current look at oh, that Oh, I see an alligator. What? Right up there. He's chilling on the log. Nuh-uh. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. That's just they some moss. <laughs> it actually looks like Look how the... deep it is. Yeah, it's really deep. They said it's only five feet. Really? That's not five feet. 
That looks like maybe seven feet right there, but. This looks like our river, just fatter. Yeah. And no houses. And no houses. I like snow ones here. Yeah. Okay, now there's no humans here, so I hope that's not indicative of big alligators. <laughs> how's, that, how's that water feel? Oh, look, some just jumped right there. <laughs> the question is, who's going in first? That's what I was going to ask. A bit nipply. <laughs> a bit nipply? Nipply, nipply. Oh. 72. How's it, how's it feel, Boston? It's cold? Look at the fishies. Wow, crystal clear water. It is clear. When you get in the water, you can't, uh, you can't make a noise. No right. whining? Okay. No whining. No whining. No okay. whining. No right. you if you whine, you lose. Okay? Well, you know, if you whine, you're going to make, well, you can't whine. If you're not whining, and you got to work harder at seeing we're not allowed to whine. You got it? Yeah. We're true, good. True. No whining. Boston, you ready? Yeah. Kinda. I mean, our cuss words allowed. I mean, yeah, it's not whining. Absolutely. You know? No, we can't, we can't have any emotion. How about no that? Emotion no emotion? No, no emotion face, whatsoever. No fake. No what? Where? A snake? Where? Right, no. I walked right past it. Oh, cool. It? I walked right past oh, it. Oh, cool. That's a, Sorry, that's a cotton mouth. That's a water moccasin. No, mm. They're all bite here, they said. Really don't know what kind of snake that is. Right, so Look at its tail. Let it be in its Holy tail. crap, that's a big, that's a python. He's what are you long talking skinny. about? I don't know. It, it could be a cottonmouth or... Well, you know what? They said leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cottonmouth. Okay, let's let him. Okay, okay, we're, we're going, we're going. Hi. Give me, give me kiss. He's just chilling, he's just chilling. Leave him alone. What kind of snake is that? Comment below. Give me, give me kiss. Hold on, I walk right past this. You walked right past him? Right down there. And he didn't bother you. No. See that? Okay, before we start our tubing adventure, just want to show you the awesome wildlife out here. <laughs> give me, give me, give. Yeah, buddy. How are we going to do You're going to do this. You're going to grab both sides. And then just fall in. Come on, yep. you YouTubing this gang. We're tubing it. Yo, lady's going to show you, right? Oh. Woo, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. All right. All right. Your face is so white. I mean, red. I guess we gotta get moving, huh? No emotion. No emotion. Oh, I had emotion. I lost. You got this. There you go, buddy. Oh, he's lucky. He doesn't have a hole. Yeah, he's got one of those uh, freakishly cool donuts. Sucks to be you. Whoa. Where'd it go? Did you find it? Where's it missing? Now you're gonna get your phone. Oh, it's not so bad. <laughs> can't make noise. Oh no. There's no like snakes on I can't there. get my phone. I don't, I heard Pretty that because nice. I'm trying to get to Boston. Hurry. Hold on. is about to like run right into me. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> Just kidding. We did get disconnected for a bit when I got on my okay. raft. I don't know, tube or whatever. <laughs> This is like a tube raft. Ooh. Hey, we lost Michelle. Where's she at? Michelle's out there chilling. She's she like is. professional. Look at this guy. I'm going to go flying. Look at what guy. There's a dragonfly like hanging out on me. A dragonfly? Yeah. Look at him. How, how deep do you think it is like right here? There's some parts that are very deep. Getting some sun. Bro, this would be the perfect place to do that gator prank where you get the gator head that's on a remote control. Oh, yes. To swim it toward people. Hmm. Oh, there's a, another turtle right over there, too. Yeah, there's a turtle right there. Never seen this many turtles somewhere. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh, what is that? What is that? Okay, stop! <laughs> <laughs> It's just a dragonfly. I know, but they hurt. No, they don't. I just had one. No, deer flies <laughs> hurt, not dragonflies. Dragonflies don't bite, silly. No, they don't. I thought my whole Horse flies bite, not horse dragonflies. Flies. No, no, that's horse flies. No. Oh, snap. Look at all those turtles up there. I know. There's like a whole family of them. Oh, on the, on the uh, sticks up there? Yeah. Oh, cool. We're going to see a bunch of turtles, y'all. Look, look, you see all those turtles, Boston? James having some issues over there. <laughs> so yeah, this is very similar to the Wikiwachi River. I think the only difference is that it's a it's more naturey, like I said, more wildlife, and it's a stronger current. So you can kind of just chill. Like we don't have 
any kayaks or canoes. Whoa! Whoa! They're coming right for your. Let's come right for your head. <laughs> Dude, that was cool. <laughs> Are you okay over there? I have no idea. Oh, look, you got a dragonfly here. Oh, it's right on your knee. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> she's a, she's a, you know, she's a girl from the Jersey Shore. So, uh, no, I don't want to get stung by anything. You're not going to get stung. Okay. Just be a swamp girl for a day. If you're ever out here in Central Florida, check this place out. And there's, there's a couple other springs too. There's High Springs, Blue Springs, Ginny Springs, and they're all real close to this vicinity within like a half an hour of each other. Of course, you got the Wikiwachi Springs. That's two hours away from where we're at right now. A little bit later in this video, I'm going to show you probably my favorite part about this place. And it is, it's unreal. It looks like something that you would, it's just like something you would see on Instagram that you see and you're like, dude, that does not look real. Like that, there's just like a place like that exists. It's wait, it's going to be so cool. She's laughing up there, like just cracking up all by herself. Hey, Chris, you know what we should be looking for, though, in these woods? Sasquatch. The skunk ape. Sasquatch. Yeah. Oh, look, more turtles. They say turtles are skunk ape's best friend. Really? Yeah, they have, like, a mutual respect. I kind of made that up right now, but Thanks. it's not good. <laughs> yeah, wherever. <laughs> it landed on me. I thought I kill it. Ow, I punched myself so hard. Check it out. They're so cool looking. I've never seen so many turtles in one river. I like really hurt myself right now. Are you sure dragonflies do not sting? I'm 100% sure. I, I thought people get stung by them. I've never been stung by one. They all sit on your finger. I don't even know how, but James is live right now on IG. You have good reception, James? I, I mean, I got good enough reception to live stream on IG. Try to... Live stream on YouTube. Yeah, I think I, I will try to do live stream. Oh, let me check my internet. So I've been getting a lot of comments, people saying, hey, Omar, loving your, your gray hair. I don't like it. I don't know. What do you think, Chris? I like it. You like gray hair? Well, I mean, it's like a good balance of it. It's, I don't think it's like too much. Oh, I'm going to. I usually color my hair. I went gray early in life. I started getting gray when I was in my 20s. Believe it or not, I've never even seen kayaks in here before, but that's good to know because I have a bunch of kayaks. We had to pay, I think it was like eight dollars a piece for these, which it's not bad. That's not so bad. like a field trip or something going on Chris you got a bug on you right on your foot <laughs> it's a dragonfly it didn't bite me I think it's a field trip let's get a closer look hey Chris I'm gonna help you get some TikTok followers yeah hey guys she's famous this girl right here, she she's famous on TikTok. She, she's famous on TikTok. Chris Starr, she's famous. Hey, Michelle. Hey, I figured I'd let y'all catch up when I cut out. Hey, you can possibly win. Fall behind you. Oh, what? Oh, they're doing like, oh, they're doing like a boat race or something. Yeah, it's a science class, biodegradable boat. Dude, that is cool. Just so you know, to your right, they said there's an alligator man. There's an alligator here? Basket on your right, not your left. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right here. okay. I guess there's an alligator here somewhere. Go over here, Bobby Finn. I don't see any gators. It's just Baskin. I don't care. My son's up there without me. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> James, you got him? Yeah, I got him. Omar? <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you scared of gators? I, I'm not doing this. No, no. I'm not scared Wait, of gators. We're going towards that. <laughs> <laughs> Get over there. 
<laughs> you really cried? <laughs> Where you at, buddy? Keter, 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 Keter. Uh, I don't see any. Uh, I have seen a gator before, like on a tree, but never in like the water, like the spring. There goes a gator friend, though. Oh, it's right there, right behind you. It's right, yeah, it's in the bushes. It's right above you, yeah. Holy crap. Are you being serious? <laughs> I can't control where I'm going. Oh, now, now I'm stuck here. Come on, use your hand. Uh. <laughs> 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 Come on, Dad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Hey, Florida doesn't claim these guys here. They're, they're from up north somewhere. Where are you going, Chris? No gators in here. Look at that. That's all limestone over there. Whoa. Check this out. Yeah, this is all limestone. Cool. He's creeping on me. Pretty sure he wants to eat me too. Where's he at? Where's he at? Hey, mister. James, you want to go swimming? Where? In the water. Yeah. What do you got in the water? Go swimming. You gonna get in, James? Yeah, I'll get in. Come on, man. No, whatever you do, do not stop. Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. No, I'm not doing anything. You're ready. You're doing it. I already know what you're doing. What you doing? He's, he's filming, and James <laughs> to get off So I finally took the plunge, went down below. Get all these dragonflies loving on me today. Look at that. They're so cool. This one's like blue. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Mr. Dragonfly. So the water feels a little cold at first. I think it stays a cool 73 or so degrees. But, oh man, it's so refreshing. Look, she knows she can't see, but she knows you ain't hard of hearing. <laughs> you do that to me all Omar, time. why are you filming me? Huh? Omar. Ready? No. Do it now. Do it now. Stop. Do it now. <laughs> James, you're in good company. You're fine. Chrissy, I promise you, I'm not gonna talk to you. <laughs> well, the minute they get their phones out, we're just messing with you. They're, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're gonna do something. <laughs> Don't you guys get sick of listening to me whine? No, it's actually funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny. I get tired of hearing it, so. Hey guys, watch out for the baby roof that my friend Chris left in the water. She she went poop over there. This girl with the blonde hair. Why is she poop in the water? She had to go poop in the water. She had an emergency. You think because you're so famous, somebody might scoop up one of your baby roofs you left in the water? <laughs> you probably get some money for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean I've seen other things sold in bottles. Right. <laughs> yeah, I heard about the girl that sells like her bottled farts or something like that. I think Chris could totally get away with that. James would be the first buyer. 100%. No manatees yet. Come on, manatees. I've never seen a manatee in here. They're like big cows. They just don't do anything. Some asshole went and tried to ride one. This guy is just hitching a ride here. Just embrace them. Em embrace the fly. Make love, not war. Okay, so if you're into lazy rivers, this is like a giant lazy river, natural one, if you will. Much prettier than your average lazy river. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, way ahead of 
What is that noise? Sounds like a helicopter. Yeah, I think we're by a highway or something. Hey, I'm kind of ahead of the group. That's how far away they are. Thank you so much for the sunshine. This, I'm so thankful for the sun. I know these turtles are thankful too. Where they at? There's literally turtles everywhere. Ooh. They're just basking. Sadly, I'm the only person that's been in the water. Nobody else. How much river treasure do you think is in here? Probably quite a bit. What kind of stinks though is the current is so strong that if you lose something, you're not gonna be able to get it back. If you're in one of these, if you have some paddles and you're in a canoe or a kayak, better possibility. Yeah, it's just be careful because there's like sticks. It's like a, I'm standing on like on a tree or something. It's actually shallow right there. You're fine. I think I'm gonna go in the tube. <laughs> yeah, you can stand right there. <laughs> <laughs> you got that on video. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow. No, actually, I can't. Ah! What? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> can't stand? No, and I like kicked something really. But you can see plants right down there. Put yeah. your, I put my phone in the case and put it under the water, but I don't know if you want to do that. I've done that. It works. But it's all like, you know. Like, yeah, it's like foggy. Try to see that fish again. I know, that would be really cool. It's going to be summer. Dude, there's a, like a ton of people back there. Look at that. Should I flip things? Flip them? Yeah. Uh, I tried. He was going to do it tomorrow. He weighs like a gajillion pounds. Oh, like. Okay. You can't. I'm going to tell him to flip me. I'm flipping your ass now. Uh, <laughs> he's got supersonic hearing. I forgot. Oh, you're just blind, but not deaf. <laughs> right? Chris, you got a bug right on your elbow. What is it? <laughs> I don't know what Stop. it is. Stop. What is it? I don't know. I didn't put it there. It's gone. It's gone. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone now. What? Stop taking them so seriously. No, there was. No, there was. No, it was a bug. The bug wasn't that serious. Wait. Though. Boston, do you want to come, like... On my ah, come on, get in. <laughs> I'm gonna splash tip if you do it again. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> he already bowled me. I was the bowling pin. I was. This is the name of the springs right here if you want to come. All right, fam. So we all survived that one crazy lazy river ride. I think Chris did pretty good. <laughs> Tiffany did really good too. Boston survived all the snakes and alligators. James did not and, get into the water. Yeah, James still didn't swim. I, wait, who all swam? Oh, okay, Tiffany swam. You, mm -hmm. You'd swam a little bit. Mm -hmm. So did Boston. Yeah, you're the only that didn't swim. I'm gonna swim now. Okay, we're gonna swim right now? So we're headed towards probably one of the most beautiful places in Florida that I've ever seen. Yeah, you don't wanna walk down there. There's a ton of water moccasin. So we just got stopped by a park ranger and they just kicked us out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, they did stop though. They didn't kick us out. However, they're filming a documentary at the place that we're going to right now. And she just wanted us to be aware. That's how beautiful this place is though, that they're filming a documentary. It looks like what? It looks like the hold that um, happened at Naruto. So it goes like this. Shoukou Jutsu. <laughs> There's a ton of bugs in there. You could fit in there. I'd rather not to. No? Yo, check out this tree. It's like the two eyes and the nose. <laughs> Somebody didn't bring shoes. <laughs> wow. This sucks. We're a couple feet away from. Oh, I can't even, sh I'm going to show you right now, okay? Okay, so they are filming a documentary over there, and uh, we're not really able to go in, but we have another one we could go into. Okay, just to give you an idea of where we were just at, I mean, you couldn't really see it very well, the way the sun was angled, but it's like an underwater cave. No way. See that? But I'm going to take you somewhere even better. 
Well, we wouldn't be able to see that anyways because we don't have snorkel or we don't have like, yeah. scuba gear and stuff. If we would have put the cameras in the water, you could have. Wow, that's really cool. But just to give you an idea of what it's like, so this is where we were at right now. And the spring, like the water comes up from here and then it goes up there. That's why it's so clear. Are you guys famous? <laughs> um, we worked on Kinko Project. Oh, cool. How's them famous shoes going? Dude, freaking great. <laughs> Good life decision right here. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at this little guy here. Hi, mister. Are you trying to find your way back to the tree? He's got a friend. Oh, that one looks kind of scary. He's got a mohawk. Did you just fart? Okay. Okay, everybody's complaining about how cold this water is. Let me see here. Oh my gosh. This is colder than the river that we were just in. I mean, maybe not. Bad. About the same. You think so? Yeah. I mean, it's cold though. I'm still down to go. Yes. Man. Grab Boston. It gets really deep over there, and there's some. It's like an underwater cave down there. Yeah, the people over here were complaining that they were going down, like just swimming a little bit, and there was a lot of pressure on them, so they came up. Oh, wow. You get used to it. There's a little fish down there. Are you serious? Yeah, see that. What the heck? I'm trying to get used to the water. Want me to help you? Yeah, it's no. No? <laughs> it's like a pool. It's like a nature made natural pool. I can't hear it. James took the plunge though. That's not all he lost. <laughs> One thing that I find really funny is Chris was like, I don't get sunburned. Never gotten sunburned. Look at your legs. I know, but what's weird is that I don't tan and I don't burn. So you can even see I don't even have a mark. And I but it was out two days. Look at your row. shoulder. Yeah, but yeah, but why is it only certain spots of me that you know what I mean? Like where my leg was sticking out with the jet. Oh my seat, gosh, yeah. That's it. But then like nothing else gets tanned or burned. Yesterday we were out having a good time on the water and there was one spot I missed on my back and it looks like this. It looks bad. It looks like a birthmark. It's just like this one random mark on my back. Look at that. Oh my god. That's it look gnarly. even better today? No, it looks worse. <laughs> it does look like a birthmark. The one of those like dark red birthmarks. James did some cool underwater shots. Man, the water is crystal clear. Look at that. Perfectly clear. Hold on, I did a one where I went all the way. Let me see. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> that didn't work out as good as I thought it was. A lot of times it stops recording when I hit the water. Yeah. I don't know why it does that. You gotta use that little bag thing that we have. You ready? Ready? Oh okay. God. How deep it is. Bro, I literally lost my breath. <laughs> what? I heard James someone. You're gonna record again? Okay. Yeah, we'll record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can almost see it. Actually, can you hold? Yeah, here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You see how it's it? recorded? It's still yeah, recording. Just hold it, hold no, it by it the side. Stopped. I think what? it just stopped. No, it didn't. No, it's still recording. Okay. Hold by the side. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna swim towards it. Hold it tight. Are you sure you're gonna be able to see it? Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna swim straight. Go. Yeah. Let me fix my hair. Oh my god, it's under the water for so long. <laughs> This looks like behind the scenes of like a TikTok video. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> that looked really cool in slow mo. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, when you take it out of the water, it usually stops. I want to see that. I'm trying to get a good cinematic here. It looks like a pool. Oh, for real, it does. Oh, my stomach's hanging out. <laughs> Dude, that looks awesome. That is Isn't so it? cool. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that looks really good. <laughs>
how awesome would it be to build something like this in your backyard? Like this, it looks like a pool, but it's all nature made. I mean, except for this, like somebody, and I mean, it's cool. They made this out of like rocks, but out there you can see the limestone, especially right there. What'd y'all think of that place? Isn't it cool? I know so many times I've shared with you Wiki Wachi, which is not far from where we're at right now. But this place, it's a little bit further away, something different. I mean, I still love Wiki Wachi Springs. Don't get me wrong. But I love this place. Reminds me of, I mean, being a kid, because I used to go there a lot as a kid. It's different. You get to just kind of chill in a tube. I mean, not saying you can't chill when you go to Wikiwachi River, but you do have to paddle a little bit. I've seen some people that will take some tubes down the Wikiwachi River and they're stuck somewhere because the current isn't as strong, especially once it gets to the end part. But yeah, it's awesome. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, video is not over, by the way. Not over. So I turned on the hot water tank. It's been sizzling for a little bit. The moment of truth happens now, though. It smells really good in here. Got the windows open. I mean, as soon as you would turn the faucet on, it was the instant, like, the faucet was farting. I'm gonna turn this baby on. Oh, ah. Okay. Oh, maybe it is farting. Come on, get all them farts out. Oh, here we go, here we go. You got any hot water? Oh, it smells like vinegar. Vin yeah, some vinegar. Still a little bit of vinegar. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, let's get some hot water. You got some hot water? It's nice and warm. Yeah. Oh, the water pressure here is terrible. I mean, most places like this aren't the best. Come on. Come on. I mean, it is regulated too. RVs, you can't really have super strong water pressure because the lines are kind of small. Still a lot of vinegar which is nice, get all that corrosion out of the water lines. Okay, now that I got this fixed, which was a little bit of a pain, took a lot of research, we gotta get that fixed right there. And then after I do everything that I need to do, I mean the outside, all the cleaning and stuff, I'm gonna stay here a couple of days. I like doing that before I release it out into the wild and have a potential bad review. I don't have any bad, actually, I think this place even my other place, all my Airbnbs, five-star reviews. I was one of those places. Everybody that would stay here just loved, loved it. And I mean, I think what makes an Airbnb special, I am not trying to say I'm special or anything, but if you have really good owners that take care of the place, they're helpful, like if you need help with anything at all, that's what makes the experience amazing. I've gone to some places before where it's just like, you could tell people don't take care of their properties. I'm very critical about that, being a homeowner myself and an Airbnb owner or Airbnb, uh, I don't know, member. Superhost, you know what I mean? Uh, even Tiffany, anytime we go places, we're like, man, our places are so much better. Like, we'll go places and like, they don't even have TVs. And if they do, they don't, like all my TVs, I, I, all my Airbnbs, there's Netflix, there's Disney Plus, Boomerang, like I have all that, I pay for that. That way people don't have to sign into theirs or worry about that. I mean, some people might stay and they may, may not even have a Netflix account, you never know. So it, it's nice, it's nice to have like things for them to do. We leave this little book here and these are all people's like notes that they left. I mean, just so many people love the place. Look at that, Cassie and Skyler. And these people aren't fans of ours. I mean, some of them are. Oh, look, a Tiffany and Ethan. Omar is an amazing host as well. We will be back. Look at this, man. This is this is great. There's been a lot of people that they'll come stay here and they'll come back again many times. Had that happen several times. But, I mean, even now, since I had it closed, I had people messaging me. They were like, man, I rented your camper out like a year ago and I loved it. It was around this time. People from out of town. And they want to come back. But I... I have it off it's not on airbnb right now but that's changing got some stuff to do outside we're gonna go to the clown cottage next it's gonna be a lot of fun gotta do some landscaping gotta spray for bugs just some maintenance stuff but uh yeah it's hot <sighs> all right fam i know it's been a long time since you've been in here with me this is the clown cottage and this is the room where i was gonna do like some uh you know some sit down story videos maybe some podcasts 
some vlogs. We do have some haunted dolls here. There's one right there. He has an interesting story. So does he. Every time I come here, the feeling is off. It's, and it's a different feeling every single time. It's not the same consistent off feeling, if that makes any sense at all. But I spent a couple of nights here when I was working late. I was working on a big project, almost a week. And I, I was just staying here. I needed the quiet time and it worked out good. But I remember I had something, I think it was that picture right over there and it was on the wall and it like, you can hear it. It literally just like, you could, you could just hear it. And it like, right, I think it was right in front of me. It just came off the wall. Coolest thing ever. I mean, cool, weird, scary, all that. But I did come here about a week ago and I noticed that two of my cameras weren't working on the outside. I have a couple cameras. Well, I have a lot of cameras outside. See, one, two. I have six cameras all around the house and it covers pretty much every angle. Well, two of those cameras completely went out. I went and checked them. They were totally fine. I'm like here wondering like what the heck is going on? My internet went out. I tried to go through all the diagnostic problems. I mean, you can see my boxes right there. I called the internet company. I'm like, yo, what's going on? They did some troubleshooting with me. Come to find out it was nothing on their end, which I thought it was at first. Come to find out after talking to a couple of my neighbors around here, they too had several of their electronics completely like take a poop. Now the reason why across the street was a lightning bolt, like a lightning bolt hit the palm tree right across the street. I mean, even though it was across the street, people like in the area, I think like five or six houses experienced some kind of loss. My neighbor from the side of me, he lost his PlayStation, lost a couple TVs. There was another neighbor back here that he lost pretty much every electronic in his house. Lucky for us, I mean, we still got a TV, still got all of our electronics working. As you can see, just the internet went out and a couple cameras. And I do have a lot of cameras in the house too, which if I do the Airbnb thing, I'm gonna of course be removing the cameras from the inside of the house, or at least I'll just unplug them anytime somebody comes. But on the outside, those cameras will always be running just for safety. Isn't this place awesome? I mean, I love coming here. Now, at first I thought to myself, if I'm gonna be Airbnb in this place again, I mean, I have to make this a living room and, Tiffany was like, no, keep it the same. Maybe people can do some work here. A lot of you that like to come and visit, if you want, I mean, you could sit there, you could do some live streams. A lot of YouTubers have come here before too in the past. I do have it set up a little bit different. I have the couch there. That couch originally was in there and the TV was also in there. I got it, you know, in its proper spot. This is like a, you know, it's a park model. I don't know what it is about that room over there is just always creepy this house gives out the coolest spirit box communication answers if you're asking questions and things like that now i have this app that i am beta testing i helped develop some of the ideas behind it i did a video with paranormal warehouse is the channel smaller channel but the producers are producers of the ghost hunting show the it's called ghost hunters i know some of you are familiar with it if you're into ghost hunting and like paranormal and stuff like that they've been probably one of the longest running paranormal shows on tv ghost hunters well my friend daryl which is actually on ghost hunters till this day he's a really cool dude bald wears a hat to the back most of the time he invited me to go to this really cool place we did a really cool video there and i brought these dice with me that had letters on them. It was like alphabet dice. And I wanted to see if I can communicate with spirits using these dice. A lot like if you watch the movie Insidious. I thought that was really cool. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try that. I'll take a page from their book, try it out, see if it works. Oh my gosh. Like I'm, I'm actually surprised I've never done that in one of my own videos, but I did it in one of theirs. Super awesome. I got some really interesting responses because we were in a civil war hospital that I mean, it's not even a running hospital anymore and you can't just go there. You had to get like, we had to get special permission just to be in there in the first place. Super haunted place. I did do a video there, but I didn't break out those alphabet dice. Well, anyways, long story short, I reached out to my friends over at Chill Seekers that developed the, you know, the app, the Spirit Box app that we use, as well as Intentions that I helped develop. And 
they came out with such a cool interactive uh, random response. I, I don't even know how it works. The guy even said that it blew him away. He was actually asking it questions and because it's in beta testing, has not been released yet to the public, but it's called Ghost Dice. And you can see here, here's the app. Actually, you know what? I'm going to record. We can use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It says from the developer. Um, it, as you can see, it's uh, it's still in beta. Start testing. This is the very first time that I've used it after it's gotten a massive update. When we first were designing this game, I mean, it was it was very buggy. A lot of new apps, it's usually like that. But anyways, we're gonna test this out. He said that when he was testing this out, he had like noises uh -oh, happening all over his house. Now, if I'm gonna do something like this, I think the Clown Cottage is probably one of the perfect places so let's go ahead and do this let's hit start now a lot i know a lot of you probably gonna be like oh this is dumb this is stupid but it, i i think it's really cool it might still be kind of buggy but it's using like a random generating computer that i believe spirits can manipulate so let's ask a question are you happy that i'm back here at the clown cottage Hmm. I have? Wait a minute. So, does that mean I have been happy? Let me ask that. Are you talking about that you have been happy regardless of me being here? Care. Care? You care? I, I don't understand that. What do you mean you care? That's that. Really? I mean, if that makes you mad that I'm asking that, maybe, maybe we should ask something else. What do you think? Has it been lonely here without anybody coming to visit? other than me I believe it's saying share oh my, my phone I just put it like this oh I, I didn't ask a question I was wait 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 wait, wait. you were asking a question Carrie, Carrie, you know what's, you know what's crazy is the word care came on there, C-A-R-E. I know that there's some people that spell the name Carrie, C-A-R-E, even like two E's. I've, I've seen a few people, I mean, believe it or not, like, it's like, oh, your name's Care? No, it's Carrie, but it's spelled C-A-R-E. And it's funny because the name carry came up and when that word care came up i was actually like wait is your name carry i was gonna ask that but i didn't so are you trying to say that your name is carry least okay you're not making any sense and that that may be the the ticket sometimes it may not make much sense okay can uh can you be a little bit more clear about what you're meaning you said carry and then you said least um let me just ask another question is anybody in danger of coming to the clown cottage if i rent it back out on airbnb again nation so the nation is in danger i'm talking about the actual clown cottage the clown cottage itself 
Let's not talk politics here, ghost or whoever you are. Let's start here. The spirit carry that I'm talking to, are you a good spirit? That doesn't make any sense. Act? You're acting like a good spirit? Is that what it is? So you're a evil spirit. Need. You need to be evil. Okay. Um. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes, but. It's like using a spare box. Do you like communicating with me using these dice? True. It said true. So you like communicating with me. Alright, this is kind of scary. Can you do something in the house right now? Do you feel comfortable doing something in the house? The clown cottage right now. Low? Low. Are you saying that asking something low of you? Do you not like that I asked you that? Should. I should ask that. Okay. Well, that's, that's cool. Do you prefer a spirit box over the ghost dice. They. They prefer both. You have to kind of think outside the box with these responses. So yeah, these responses are a little, a little strange. Where are you now? Movie. Movie. Wait, what? Movie. Oh my god, I got goosebumps right now. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn this off. I have movies right over there. And they're scary movies. Can you move one of those movies if you're standing over there? Are you over there in the corner? By the movies? Are you hanging out by Annabelle? Where you at? Do you want to talk on the ghost dice some more? Do you want me to go in there? Are you over here? Let me know. Let me know if you're over here. Make a sound. Go ahead. Make a sound. You can even touch me if you want. Just don't hurt me. <sighs> Somebody's in here. Is somebody in here? Don't play.
סעיף. Can you close that door again? I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. You know what? I don't even know. Was that door closed? I'm going to have to rewind the footage and see if this door was actually closed. And maybe I just didn't hear a tap or something in the house, but I don't know. That sounded like either like a something like that or no, I'm pretty sure one of these doors closed. Maybe it was a cabinet door. Okay. All right, that was weird. I love this place. I really love this place. You're happy I'm here, aren't you? You have been lonely. What is that noise? That sounds like coyotes. Just heard a bunch of coyotes outside. All right. Anyways, I'm thinking about maybe coming here an entire night. Let me know if that's something that you'd want to see. Uh, like an all-out paranormal investigating night. Where we come here, we can use some equipment. Maybe use those ghost dice. I like using like things that people usually wouldn't use when it comes to ghost hunting and doing some paranormal like I, I don't know I, I hate the term investigator because it just sounds a little too formal for me like I I don't consider myself a formal investigator by any I'm more of a enthusiast you could say somebody who just enjoys going to creepy places I love the history that's more my thing is history on haunted places and I love the clown cottage I love it here I think I think I'm gonna open this back up to the public I think it's a great idea let me know here in the comments if you want to see this place and, and come visit it for yourself one day. And maybe you could have something cool happen. I know that somebody that was staying here witnessed one of these dolls. I think it was this middle one. It started just swinging all on its own. And they, I think they asked, hey, can you do something? And then that just started just out of nowhere. So yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. Can you start swinging for me? Like you did for my friends Dustin and Lisa? This house is alive. You having fun over there, Pennywise? Okay, one thing I completely forgot about that I have never done an investigation on is the doll that I found in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, in the Mothman neighborhood. I still don't know what this doll is. And uh, some of you said that it could be a voodoo doll. Somebody even said that it could be like a slave doll, which is really weird and kind of don't like that if that's what it is but I did bring it here and I have it in this case <laughs> I'm gonna say something that's kind of dad jokeish. I put it in the case just in case <laughs> is that what is that where the word case came from like oh no I I seriously doubt it but anyways we're gonna go home my phone's been blowing up I know Tiffany has been uh I think she's cooking get over there i know you've been with me the whole day well not 
really. I did show you some footage of us earlier on that river. That was a couple of weeks ago, but I've been holding on to the footage. I'm going to make this video interesting, long. I, I feel like I owe you a nice longer video because it's just been been too long it's been too long like let's spend some time together okay like let's spend time together. I, I miss you so much i'm gonna feed you i know you're hungry so let's get home all right fam i'm on my way home well actually i'm gonna make a pit stop somewhere but i wanted to talk to you i mean hopefully this helps somebody out definitely helped me out i used to heavily drink soda i mean not maybe not that bad but i mean like i love drinking soda every once in a while and i know that that's some people's biggest weakness when it comes to going on a and i hate to even say the word diet let's just talk about making better life choices better healthier choices for your body sugar is, i mean we all know sugar is bad and soda is loaded with it and I hate to say it, there's a lot of us that drink way too much soda, and I was one of those people. However, if you're wanting to give, I mean, I know that there's some people out there that have given up soda in the past, and when they have, they've lost a tremendous amount of weight just cutting back soda, or cutting soda off their, their regular, you know, diet, or food choices. So if you're one of those people like me, that you love that carbonated feeling, when you know the soda hits your throat a great alternative club soda well this is it's sparkling water which is very similar to club soda if you ever had club soda what i like about these is they're they're flavored you can get these at walmart this is called clear american and there's no sugar there's no preservatives there's there's nothing in it but like a a small flavor uh, this has lime flavor, but I mean, as far as calories, you're, it's just drinking, it's, you're drinking flavored water, and I did a bunch of research on it, I'm like, you know, hey, I mean, this can't be healthy, this is way too good, I mean, as long as you're not into, like, the, the sweet flavors, I mean, th there's some waters out there, too, that are naturally, like, mineral waters that are naturally carbonated, which I have no idea how that works, but somewhere maybe some spring somewhere there's some bubbly water that people put in bottles and call it a day if this helps somebody out out there that maybe you're struggling to be on a diet because of soda and because you love that fizziness this is a great alternative and it's it's water completely safe i've done research you could do some research on your own i mean maybe maybe it's not maybe it's not safe and you can get completely just regular water that's carbonated which i find it's you know it's fine but i like these little flavored ones and they're you know zero calories love it and no artificial sweeteners no you don't need any of that so try it out see if you like it i'm getting ready to go to the gym before i head home tiffany is cooking right now i, I figured i could uh definitely feed you but we're gonna go get in a quick workout before we get fed i don't know if this has ever happened to anybody but you know stuff like this only happens to me so you know, like you uh, go somewhere and then you look on your shirt and you're like, oh my God, I got stains everywhere. I, look, I got I got a stain right there. Like, where the hell did that come from? I've been working today, but it's definitely only the only person that puts water on their shirt to clean their stains. I guess this could count as like sweat or something. I mean, we are at a gym, man. Yeah. Your boy looking kind of rough over there. <laughs> the chest and triceps. I think of tomorrow I'll do back biceps. Got one more. I usually uh, do triceps like this. I'll turn around and switch it this way. I think I'm okay. Ooh, my turtle guy's pond looks so clean now. Oh my god. Oh, there he goes right down there. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> but yeah, his pond was so dirty. I emptied out all the water. And I mean, it wasn't really the water's fault or the, I mean, it wasn't the turtle's fault either. But 
the filters needed to be replaced and I went on Amazon and found replacement filters and it's like a three-part filter system I mean just look at the ripples going on there it's so cool my neighbor came to me the other day and they're like oh I love your light on the side of the house so I went and got one too I guess they have lights that do that they didn't know that I had a pond here on the side of the house this is my my little pond setup in case you wonder oh by the way I had to change this out I did that myself I'm gonna run a pipe down there for some extra water but yeah there was a leaky pipe right on the edge of the concrete so I had to bust out you know here are our houses in Florida they have concrete walls so I had to bust that out just to be able to replace it but yeah it's your boy being handy right there I gotta fill that in fill that hole in what are you doing So V, unfortunately now, only likes me. I mean, it's not a bad thing because she could choose not to like anybody. So hopefully you don't fight me. Oh, I was just kidding. I, oh, give me a kiss. Oh, I love you. Give me a kiss. <laughs> give me, give me a kiss. Hey Tiff, you want to give her a kiss? No, okay. I love you. <laughs> she bites Tiffany. <laughs> I love you. She loves me when I'm feeding her, though. My adopted kid over there. <laughs> hey James, you think little V uh, will bite you? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a Here, you want to pet little V? Is there a mustache in Mexico? <laughs> She's laughing. Oh, make sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me get her off. Come here. Come here. Want to give Uncle James a, a little nibble? I don't think she likes bananas. That's my finger. Oh, I think right. it's a guy thing. She likes guys. What are you doing? Maybe she doesn't like women. <laughs> you gonna poop on my couch? Come here. I thought I was getting bit for sure. Dude, she totally like. Yeah. Likes James. Here, I'm gonna put it on your. No, 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 no. Why? Don't push it. Cause then you're gonna bite Wait. me in there. At least you can't take your ear off. Big it, big it, big. Oh, she don't like that. Oh, don't she mind. doesn't like when you say big it, big it. I don't know kiss? why. Give me a kiss. Maybe it reminds her of Jasper. Maybe that's think? what it is. Yeah, Jasper, you say that all the time. Mm. Give me, give me a kiss. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Give me a bird. Oh, she totally just took a poop on her back. Oh, I'm sure. You know. Okay. <laughs> I went pooping. Okay. She's saying, Uncle Pete? Uncle Pete? Because we no. say that to the dogs. Okay. Uncle Poop? <laughs> Give Uncle James a little tickle. Oh, I'm getting tickles. <laughs> you want me to take her? If you want, I mean, you know, <laughs> chilling. Should do a live stream on V. Like, well, right. put V's on your shoulder. Or she going after your headphones? Well, that's better than my ears, so. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Well, she's going after the ear now. <laughs> I don't want to say give me a kiss. You know? hey, maybe she'll give you a little haircut. Oh, yeah? Think so? <laughs> I got to give you a haircut. By the way, I just gave myself a haircut. Did you? Oh, yeah. yeah looking fresh. Yeah, thanks, bro. Okay, come on, little mm -hmm. B. Come on. She likes James. I like. Let's see if she likes Ariana. Oh, no, it's okay. No? No, it's fine. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Come on. Hey, last time she bit me. Don't. I don't want. I like having my body parts. She about pierced my whole lip. She like banana? I don't know. I don't know what she likes anymore. What will be? Is that good? <laughs> she said, "Is that good?" Mmm. Wait, can Paris have bananas, babe? Yeah. Okay. She she normally doesn't like bananas. Well, she likes bananas food, but she doesn't like bananas in her bird food that oh, we give her. She likes this. Yeah, she likes mm. banana by like regular. Is that good? Banana. She does say that one. You give her something else, like, is that good? I mean, you're so nice to me, I can share my banana with you. 
She's laughing like Tiffany. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing she does is me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's a good. What are you doing? Go Cowboys. What are you doing? Does it say go Cowboys? Yeah, she says go Cowboys. Give me, give me a kiss. Dude, that. she's tearing this banana up. She really is. <laughs> He's like a bird. He's so funny in the mornings, too. She's like covered up. And she'll be like, good morning. As soon as she hears somebody, she's yeah. like, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so it's not like they're just saying things. They they know the meanings. Based off. Because every time I give her food, too, she's like, watch your pop, watch your pop. Watch your pop, watch your <laughs> Cookie is so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at her. She's the cutest 16 year old puppy ever. Luna? Oh my, Luna. You are so jealous. Like, I can't pet another dog. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Look at, look at, look at her. Look at her. How do you fix a jealous dog? Like, is there. Like, Luna's gonna be six years old? Too late now. You're so jealous. You're so jealous. Watch your pop, watch her. Oh my god. Well, oh, you just punched me in my face. Oh, you're <laughs> like, like, watch it. As soon as I give Chloe attention. Oh, Chloe! Ocha Chloe! Oh. I usually say, Ocha Chloe. Okay. Ocha Chloe. Chloe. Okay, she's not doing Where's it. Where's the cradle? She can't love her. There you go. <laughs> it's oh, the cradle. Girl, see? look at her. <laughs> she wants everything. Yeah, look at her. 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 Yeah, bum rushes her way in between my legs and the counter all the time. Well, Cookie's so cute, though. Oh, oh my god. Can I give Cookie some love, Luna? So, Tiff, what is this that you cook? Vegetable pasta and sauce. It looks good. Huh? That looks good. It's delicious. What's that new app that you started using that, like, you scan things and it says if it's yeah, good so or bad? Yeah, so Ariana turned me on to it because she's, uh -huh. like, super, like, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. She I'm is. Not. It tells you. But you, you just, look, I'll show you. Okay, show me. Things like that. Like, for example, your um, amino acids that you take. Uh-huh. They're bad? Yeah. They're bad? Yeah. No, but I don't take them all the time, though. But, so you think processed food, right? So here's the morning star. Veggie burgers. Grillers, right? Yeah. It says excellent. So okay. the closer you can get to 100, the better. So it's 84 out of 100. Now you're faking bacon? My favorite fake bacon ever. Bad. Ooh. So it has, um, what are these things called? Hazardous or Add hazard Additives. Five hazardous additives. What? Yeah. What's the name of that app? What is this called? It's huh? Called Yuka? And then, okay, so, like our yogurt that we get. Because uh -huh. believe I it or not, there's actually some really bad yogurts. So you snap. Excellent. Scan. 90 out of 100. Whoa, cool. Well, you want to scan yours? Yeah, yeah scan mine's right probably on. bad. I get the cheapest yogurt. Let's see. Excellent. Oh, oh wow. Now, wait, now you got to scan mine. Okay. <laughs> wait, he has yogurt in there? Yeah, he has a little. one yogurt in there left. Where's it at? It's in there somewhere. James loves eating healthy. Oh, it's right there. Okay, okay let's watch mine. It's like oh, go back. Horrible. Might be good. No, it's excellent. Seventy-five out of hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got the Echoes, which is Oikos. 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 Echoes. Now. Oh wait, why don't you scan my uh, my seltzer water? I was talking about that. Okay. Already. Vegan mayonnaise. Vegan mayonnaise. Okay. It's got apparently salt. That's what made it bad. Three. So when I looked it up, it three was three out of a hundred. Yeah, but whoa, it's the salt that's making it bad. Right. But, of course, mayonnaise. Is I was like just talking. The blueberries? Blueberries. Yummy. Yeah, I was just talking this seltzer water up right now. Well, I don't know if it's going to scan individually. Yep, 100. Excellent. 100? See, I told you. Yeah, well, I mean, then, but still. You know what else was really excellent? Mm. My Celsius drinks. Really? Yeah. Okay. So this is this is Ezekiel. Wait, what about, um, what about oh, it's these good. guys? The, Zero sugar? These ones are good. Okay. Um, the Ezekiel bread. Uh huh. Look. 
100 out of 100. 100 out of 100. Well, it's your phone. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Your phone is doing something. Oh, no, I was pushing other stuff. Never mind, I'm lying. So, yeah, that Ezekiel bread, excellent for you. What about ketchup? Probably horrible. There's so much sodium and sugar in it. It's only got 20 calories. 33, poor. Ooh, okay. Because there's sugar and salt in it. Dude, I, I'm going to download that app and use it before buying something. That was literally me and Ariana in the grocery store. We're like, no, nope, put it back. No, nope, put it back. Yeah, yeah, every time Ariana goes grocery shopping for herself, that's yeah. what she does. I want to do it with salt. I only really look at the hazardous <laughs> additives. If it has bad additives, then I don't get it. But if it's just like too salty, I still get it. 24. But that's 24. actually, I, mean, I thought it would be a salt. lot worse. Yeah. This is James's stuff, by the way. Well, I mean, these are my vitamins, but uh, I'll scan this one. Five hour energy. I don't know if it's going to scan. Scanned everything that you scanned so far. Oh, three. It's bad. Three, okay. But what let's see. It has sodium. Well, I guess for the size because it's. Um, yeah, it doesn't have anything that's um, hazardous. Well, that's good. Yeah. But it's still poor. Right. Pop the mixed vegetables. It's probably going to be, it has sodium. So. Oh, oh, it does have some sodium. Well, yeah, anything that's canned is going to have sodium. Not everything. 90. Excellent. Oh, dang. That's not bad. So, I mean, for some of you out there that think stuff in the can is bad for you, check that out. I mean, it's vegetables, but still, it does have a little sodium. You just got to rinse them. That's what I always do. I always rinse. Oh, like get some of the sodium off. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what'd you make over here? Just some turkey burgers. Nice. Look at you eating all healthy. All right, here's some uh, vegetarian pasta for you. Oh my God, you're making a I'm Sorry, the dog's got it, the dog's got it. That's what they, yeah, why is it? the counter. Why is there a sock on the floor? Luna. Luna. Luna loves bringing you stuff. When you come home, she gets so excited. So first thing she sees, a shoe, blanket, sock, well, mainly shoes. I missed one of my flip flops mm -hmm. for like two months and found it in the bush outside. <laughs> well, cause she goes outside after yeah. we get home. Yeah. yeah, in case you're wondering why there's a sock right there. Is that, was that you? That was you, huh? Yeah, yeah, put that sock back where you got it. No? All right, we're gonna see if this works for dog treats. I don't think it will, but let's see. Right here. Unknown product. Aww. Okay, if you like this, try this instead. Like if you can oh. cheese it, it'll give you like a bunch of little butter. What about Ritz crackers? Yeah, they're horrible. Well, it's a really? zero. Really? I think I think it was a zero. What about these um granola bars? Mm -hmm. Popcorn? Our popcorn was I think it was it was just poor. It wasn't like bad. It was just poor. What about these chewy Quakers? Want to try that? Uh, I. This is fun. Oh, we got some bacon, bacon of canine carryouts. I don't think it's going to scan that yet. Why do you have a bird feather on your hand? Because I was carrying the bird. It's poor. Poor? I mean, it's it's not terrible. It's 42 out of 100. Hey, you want to try some of this cheese dip? So good. <laughs> it's so good. Nope. Try it. No, nope. <laughs> you didn't get me this time. <laughs> ah, no. Good try. Want some guys. cheese dip, Mariana? Mm -hmm. No. Sniff, sniff test, you know. <laughs> a little fishy there. That stuff is really gross. I just what this? You no, know, it's it's good cold. Mm. <laughs> it's not bad. You want it? you want to buy it? No, I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I didn't try like cold. Mmm. Then... You wash your hands. Hmm? You wash your hands? Um, no, really, not really. No, no. Wait, <laughs> okay, I don't know if this makes my friend James upset. We're into the next day, by the way. One of the biggest things about going live that James and I actually hate is that we're at the mercy of internet signal. Okay, so it's not like, you know, hey, Omar, James, y'all should go live at a haunted location. Well, you could really only go live at a haunted location if you have full 5G or full 4G LTE. There's a lot of you that understand this just from going on your phone because y'all are probably on your phone right now. And you're like, oh, dang, this video doesn't work. My Twitter doesn't work. YouTube doesn't work. Well, 
live streaming, you really need full internet. So sometimes we get excited, right? Like when we go somewhere that's really cool and you're like, yo, I got full internet, like this is great, I can go live. Now, we're trying to work on something where we'll be able to do that. And I mean, when we've gone live before, uh, we did a live stream over the weekend. It was awesome, it was great. The only problem was, is there was several times that we lagged, right? Mm -hmm. And it was it was tough because that we would lose like I mean there was a time where I, I think I lost like half my viewers. James lost half Remember half. Remember I went from a thousand to forty eight. Forty eight viewers. Forty eight. Yeah. But they came back. But they, yeah, they did come back. It's annoying, and I understand. Like as a viewer, like that would be annoying to me too. Like uh, that's why like we feel bad, and we don't want that in our live streams either, which causes us to live stream a lot less than we would have liked to. Huh? What's all over your shirt, bro? Let me guess. <laughs> you got like chip residue. And, yeah. Chip residue. You got some dog hair mixed in. The dog hair makes sense. <laughs> uh, the dog hair is Anyways, I'm just I'm I'm always messing with my boy James here. But okay, so long story short, we're gonna be fixing that. It, it's expensive. It's very expensive. I mean, I'm talking about just to start up. I mean, a couple thousand dollars just for the equipment and several hundred dollars a month but you figured it may be a good investment to our channels because we'll be able to do some live videos i want to do them weekly where we go like dumpster diving random nodding and we have a perfect not only a perfect signal throughout the live stream but perfect video quality as if we were filming with a high-end camera like i'm using right now how does that sound what do you think bro That'd be great. It's, it's going to be awesome. So, um, I was setting up a Twitch account right now because I've never set up a Twitch account. You ever set up a Twitch account? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm willing to bet money that if you tried to open up a Switch, uh, Switch account. Switch account. Switch account. <laughs> Twitch account. Switch Twitch. You're banned. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's not. I mean, well, I mean, I don't know. Like, you, how do you get banned on Twitch? I know people get banned all the time. Like, yeah, I mean, they do. I've heard it's pretty, pretty strict. But pretty strict. I mean, we have a pretty loving, great fan base. So yeah, like, I can't right. imagine why we would have any problems on there. No, no. I mean, we, we try to keep it clean and keep it fun. But this has happened to me before. It happened to me on TikTok and a couple other platforms that start out. You go and you enter your name. And I, I go and on Twitch and I enter Omar Gosh TV. And it says the username is unavailable. And yeah, bro, it's like people will name squat your names. If you go, you know what? Let, let me, I'm just curious. Cause I mean, I even put, let me see here. I, I even put the Omar Gosh, like my vlog channel name. And that is unavailable. <laughs> let me see if the fam is available. No way. Yeah. Unavailable. Somebody name squatted you too. What about James the fam? If that James? if they took that one, then I know they name squatted. Let's see. James. That's also unavailable, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, what is up with people, man? Like, you know, we should look into that. What? It, well, I guess on Twitch you have to show your face, but yeah, but that should be like I have. A, I mean, like Omar Gosh TV. I have that trademarked. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I mean. People you look them up as a user to see if they are like an active account or is it just somebody you know that just used the account and never used it? That's a good freaking idea, yeah, bro. because if it's an inactive account, you could probably make a very good argument to... Browse. Uh, right? Um, how do you search? I've never used Twitch before. Okay, let me put Omar Gosh TV. Watch somebody, like they've like, they got my videos like on oh, here or oh, something. Oh, that'd be messed up. Dude, look at all these fake Omar Gosh pages. <laughs> Bruh. Is there really? Yeah, uh, Omar Gosh TV 96. Uh, Omar Gosh, Omar Gosh, 18 followers. It's Omar Gosh. Hi, I'm new. Omar Gosh 2392. There's not even an Omar Gosh TV, like a like the actual link is like, man. Uh, oh, look at this. Highlight, I mean, that's me right there, but I mean, I didn't. Somebody must have been putting like some of my videos like on a on a highlight reel or something. Oh, I don't know, this kind of sucks. Talk to him, ask him about that. Maybe I'll reach out to Twitch. I wanna connect 
like YouTube and Twitch and go live on both platforms? Because I mean, dude, like right now there's, wow, there's this person called Osman Gold and they have 48,000 concurrent live streaming viewers right now. And then this other channel, XQCOW, probably gonna get- What are they doing? Oh, let's click, let's see. What the heck, 80, 89,000 viewers? This is insane. Oh no, this is an ad break, my bad. <laughs> this isn't a, <laughs> I just got clicked. Got I'm like, man, that's pretty polished uh, live stream there. Oh, they're doing a reaction to the Johnny Depp case. Oh, they got a YouTube channel too, but hey, they're doing their thing, man. Big shout out to this dude right here. I'm sure uh, he's really popular. Well, he's got 90,000. Well, he's got 90,000 just in the chat here, dude. This that's, that's insane. What's the most concurrent viewers you ever had like on a, on a live stream? Tops ever? Top ever. I'm gonna say like 2,500, 3,000. That, and that's, whoa, and that's, that's a that lot. was a lot. And that was a that's lot, a lot. Yeah. For me, that was the, probably the, the top ever. The top ever for me ever, it was during a dumpster diving live stream. It was a couple years back. It was like, I think nine or 10,000 people live. Like that, I, I was blown away. Saturday night. Yeah. And I mean, now, I mean, on average, maybe, yeah, like 2,000 or so. I mean, that's, that's for me, that that's really good. Amazing. You know what I mean? Just to even have more than 100 people is amazing, to be honest. I remember I used to go live every Friday night. And I have, I've had like, Maybe, I would have like maybe 10 people <laughs> and I'd be happy like, you know, oh, I got 10 people, man. It's all awesome. of you now live stream. Yeah, the you now live stream. This is before YouTube live streaming. You know, you can go back and see parts of those still. You can? Yeah. Oh, wow. You should go back and review some of your old live streams. Those were fun. I, I kind of miss those those uh, you now live streams. You could like feature people and stuff. But yeah, um, the whole name squatting thing, it's so annoying. Like somebody even name squatted my, my damn website like I had omargoshtv.com on lock and I wasn't doing anything with it and I I let it I let it go I think I, I let it go and I was like oh I'll just get it back when you know things start popping a little bit more of course my channel did really well and somebody took my name and is selling it for like thousands of dollars I, I like I don't, forgot you know what? let me let me look it's even worse than that people on twitter and instagram that fake their accounts to look like ours and then dude yes and i've talked about it so much so has james it's yeah. so annoying that's why if you look down in the description below it says these are my only social media accounts anything other than what i'm sharing down below is not me do not fall for it there there's probably somebody watching this video right now they're like oh i talk to omar every single day i'm gonna tell you right now i i only talk to a couple of people here and there I'm very, very busy. I'm a family man. I work just about every single day. I got a lot going on. I don't have time to be on my phone all day talking to people, thousands of people at that because I do. I mean, if you go into my DMs on Twitter, Instagram, I mean, I'm, I literally get, and I'm not exaggerating, a message every, I wanna say 20 minutes between b both social media platforms and I just, be careful out there because there's been people that have got sucked into it and they end up like sending these people money. I will never ask anyone for money ever. Okay. The closest ever that I'll ask for money is for merch, but you're going to get something back in return. I'm never going to ask you for money ever. Okay. It's never happened. I don't send out people to set up collaborations or anything like that. It doesn't happen. Okay. So Please, if you're talking to somebody out there who's pretending to be me and you've had that thought cross your mind, let it go. Trust me, you're not talking to the real me uh, or James. Okay, are, are you? Did you set up any uh, collaboration? Was there one and only one social media? Yeah, just yeah. Twitter and Instagram, just one account. Well, they prey on like small YouTubers, right. and and they're like, oh, the I'm from the Omar and James management group, and we're gonna set up this collaboration so you could start making money i'm gonna tell you something it is hard to make money on this platform okay you can put in so much work professional quality put thousands of dollars into your work and your videos and not get paid for it okay are you ready for that 
because that's what you're going to have to get ready for. It, you can't just expect a bigger YouTuber to make your dreams come true and put you on the map. It doesn't work like that. YouTube does not work like that unless you're Mr. Beast. All right, Mr. Beast can give you a magical shout out and it will work. But even then, if you're not producing amazing quality content that is, I mean, it has to be your full time job, like to be honest. I mean, not it doesn't have to be, but we start out, I started out, okay? And I mean, everybody starts out doing YouTube as a hobby, okay? And, and eventually it will turn into a full time job if you're putting a lot of time into it, but it doesn't happen overnight. All right, YouTube is not easy like that. I'm just, I just wanted to, I don't know. I, I, I want to just bring it to your real, bring it to your raw, okay? Like if you think that a shout out is all you need to blow up on YouTube, it's not going to happen. Now, the good news is, is YouTube is much easier now. Would you agree, bro? It's much easier now. People say, oh, I should have done this years oh, ago. 100%. It is so much easier. Like that. There's so many people that have blown up super quick just yeah. like shorts or something like that. There's so many different uh, things that they offer now that they didn't used to have, and it does make it easier. They didn't have live streaming when we first started doing it. You know no. What I mean? It was just videos, and then, then live streaming, and then and now whatever. It's gotten so much better over the years. I mean, for smaller creators to get an audience. I mean, it's you're... It's still hard. And that's it's still, still hard, hard. yeah. Hard. No, I mean, yeah, no question. It's still hard, but it was... When James and I were first, first starting YouTube, it was harder, a lot harder. And I mean, nowadays you, you can really blow, I mean, it took me years just to get a thousand subscribers, years. I mean, so I, I just wanna put that out there, okay? Don't fall for scams. Uh, there's, if it's too good to be true, it probably isn't true, okay? Take that with a grain of salt. But the good news is, it is attainable, it is possible, anything is possible. And I mean, not just talking about YouTube, anything in this world, anything you wanna do, it's possible. Is it gonna take work? Absolutely. It doesn't, like, nothing comes easy in this life, especially things that are rare, does not come easy. So as long as you put your mind to it, you work hard, you grind, don't let anyone stop you. The, honestly, the biggest person stopping you is yourself and that's, Yes, that's a dose of reality just for me, okay? Because I've stopped myself from pretty big things in life, but I'm not gonna let anyone stop me, including myself, moving forward. But anyways, I just, uh, yeah, the whole name squatting thing, it's annoying. TikTok, somebody's name squatted Omar Gashi V, so I had to make my TikTok Omar Gashi V 004, that was... Wait, was 001, 002, 003 taken? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like... What the hell? Uh, like somebody, and I tried messaging them and then it's like, it won't let me send a message. It's just, if you're watching this video and you've used my name, like just thinking like, oh, I'm, oh, this is cool because maybe, I know some, maybe some people will use the name, not to act like me or anything, but just because they're a fan. And I understand that, but it does make it hard for me. Like right now I'm trying to do a Twitch account and I can't use my own name that people around the web know me by. So that makes it a little bit difficult, sucks. And yeah, even my domain name, yeah, it says here, uh, maybe for sale. You know, it, it used to have a thing saying that it was like $10,000, like what the hell? Why don't you hit them up on uh, Twitter or uh, shoot them an email? Like Twitch? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Just to see like if there's any possibilities of doing that if it's a dormant account. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if that account doesn't even, that, they probably don't even use that account. They probably just did it just to do it. That sucks, man. But, I don't know. Maybe Twitch is reserving that. Possible, because I mean, I went and tried to That's look. That's the other idea. It doesn't pull anything up exactly as that. So what if they are reserving Well, that? bro, you know how many users are on Twitch though? Like there's so many users on Twitch. Uh what if you signed up for that long, long, long time ago and you never used it and you just forgot? Well, I, I did think of that uh -huh. and I put my email that I would have used and it said this account doesn't exist mm. to send me like a, you know, a re-password link or whatever. Re-password link. Uh, what is it? A reset link to yeah. reset your password. Mm. Well, anyways, hey, big things are coming. It's going to be awesome. 
Hope you stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this super long video. I'm gonna try to do some longer videos for the vlog. I mean, a lot of you enjoy it, so let me know here. Do you enjoy longer videos on this channel? Shorter videos? You want them short and sweet? Do you like spending the day with us? You know, being here longer? Let me know. I'm curious. I love you so much. Before you leave though, give me a kiss. Peace.